Right now, Florida clearly has superior athletes, but mm -hmm. they're not performing better than Iowa right now, Mark. Because they're being outcoached, plain and simple. Wow. You look at both sidelines, and Kirk Ferentz is doing an outstanding job of preparing his team, play calling on the field, and the adjustments that they're making in this football game. And here's the key. There comes a time where you look at some programs. You look at Texas, they get the great recruits. You look at Florida, they get the great recruits. The bottom line, it's what you do with those recruits. You have to win the big ball games, and I think Kirk Ferentz has done a phenomenal job of coaching today. You know what, Reese? You mentioned worst case scenario for Ron Zook because of Steve Spurrier. I say worst case scenario for Ron Zook that he ran into Kirk Ferentz. That's the whole point about yeah. this game. Is I think you saw the intensity from the start of this game. Forget about all this talent and all this and that. You look at the coaching plan of Kirk Ferentz, both offense and defense. Florida has not matched the intensity from the get go in this football game. Time of possession being absolutely dominated by Iowa. And if you watch their offense, it's a thing of beauty. Mark Reese and I were sitting here looking at him. Look at has a setup play. The next play is run. It's outstanding coaching. Mark's exactly right. Iowa is the better team. They're better coached. They're better prepared and far more intense right now than Florida is. And in the game, you heard Bob Davies mention this. There are two different approaches to this to this bowl game. You saw where Ron Zook gave his team off for Christmas. You saw where Kirk Ferentz said, no, we're going to work. We're going to practice. He learned from the past. Last year, going to the Orange Bowl, where they went down there and got waxed by USC, he said, no, we're going to prepare better. It's all about research and attitude. And right now, Iowa has the attitude. Yeah. And, you know, and, and the thing, I think, to be fair to Ron Zook, I believe you guys believe that Ferentz would outcoach just about anybody he was yeah. matched he's, up with across the, the sideline. He's as good as they come. Well, some more coaching news, guys. In Kansas City in the NFL, Dick Vermeil is going to stay around for one more year. Al Saunders, his offensive coordinator, who's also up for some NFL openings, has turned down Nebraska. That according to a quote from Dick Vermeil, who says that Saunders told him that he had been offered the Cornhusker head coaching job and turned it down. So Nebraska will have to look elsewhere for the man to replace Frank Solich and or Bo Pelini. Bo Pelini, of course, the interim head coach and won the MasterCard Alamo Bowl. This situation now, Trev, for Nebraska, this is the first public guy, public candidate that's gotten out who said to turn down the job. Yeah, I mean, in Nebraska now, I think Steve Peterson, obviously, we got to get this thing figured out. I mean, recruiting starting to get crucial right now. And I, look, I'm watching this game, and I'm saying, Kirk Ferentz, I don't care if it takes $3 million, put his son on scholarship, his daughter on his wife, whatever you have to do, maybe Jim Grobe at Wake Forest. Forget about the NFL. There's great coaches in college football. Mark, talk to your Trev. buddy Kirk Ferentz. Trev. He can come to Lincoln. It's only 300 you miles can't, west you can't on use this way. Just wait. You can't use this. First of all, Christmas is over. I spoke <laughs> with Kirk Ferentz a few weeks ago. He's very happy at Iowa. He's not going anywhere. And when I asked him about the Nebraska situation, it was almost laughable to him. He said, I'm not going there. I'm staying right here. And I put you on my cell phone and you heard his voicemail so forget about <laughs> Kirk Ferentz. Hey, that's, that's the point. Mark makes a good point. Forget about Nebraska and Kirk Ferentz laughing. I think that's the point that maybe people in Nebraska have to start to understand. Maybe that the whole thing that we have in Nebraska and what we think our position is and the whole university, maybe it's not viewed that way nationally. And you guys you know, have told me that for three weeks. I'm trying to tell you that, but you know what? Here's the thing. I'm worried about Trey. I'm not sure he can go back to his home state of Iowa. <laughs> he was publicly <laughs> trying to take the Hawkeye coach away. What are you doing? What are you doing, my friend? We're going to take you out to Pasadena, getting ready for SC at Michigan later in the day. Stay with us, everybody.